to be done soon to save more lives. Under the final year's figures are not even in yet for 2022. They may, may end up being even worse than what we're seeing now. And Mr. Tay, give me that fish. It really hits home. We know that that fish is about guy on you. Who <coughs> took all your stuffing out of it. <coughs> I'm sorry, y'all. And we're seeing the same across the country. And it's just unacceptable. He ain't happy unless I'm pulling the some shit out of his mouth. ordering more car makers to have drunk driving technology installed in all of the cars by the year 2027. The controversy is over. The Democratic nominee for family court judge who was removed from office has been replaced. The Democratic Party selected a backup, but some are confused by the entire process. Political reporter Aaron Davis tracked down the answers to the questions many Main shit. are asking. Before the Democratic Party selected a replacement for the former nominee, Sabrina Martin, they elected a new party chair. Y'all say Mr. Ted over, I mean Miss Ellie over, like on her big old fat buddy in. in that position. She only moves to eight shit and pass. From Montgomery family court judge Monica Arrington. The nomination originated from the party's minority caucus that Kelly is a part of, and she was against a slate of candidates. But some voters are concerned with the lack of their involvement in the process. Zach Buckner, a member of the party's executive committee, sent me an explanation that reads, quote, everybody on the executive committee were popular elected by the people in the state legislature district. You don't put me off this couch in a minute, Bowie. Monica Arrington from the four candidates that appeared before the executive committee. No process existed where we could just give Fernando the seat, end quote. Fernando Morgan lost the original nomination by 66%. And Buckner added, and would it be right to just... Better let Miss Ellie alone. She'll get you. Aaron Davis. she get you. She don't want you to bother her. Go ahead and grab those tissues and antibiotics now because peak flu season is almost here. Cases in Alabama have decreased over the past few years, but state health leaders are expecting the cases to climb again this year. You gonna but dislocate my shoulder and go get your butt. Says we can credit the declining number for the last few years to masking because of the COVID-19 pandemic. But now with CDC guidelines changing, cases could rise once again. But we have been fortunate and a lot of that has really related to an increase in mitigation, including people wearing masks. Everyone six months of age and above should be vaccinated against influence. Mr. Ted says hit that subscribe button and share this video. To reduce the severity of the Give him a thumbs up. Dr. Landers warns Alabamians to be proactive this upcoming season. She says get your flu shot now.